My name is Robert and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Good Riddance or The Time of My Life by Green Day. To start things off, what you want is guitar to be tuned in standard tuning and uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in and get started. Alright, so starting off we need to know five chords that's being used throughout this whole song. It's going to be a G chord, a C and 9, a D, a C, and an E minor. Okay, so what this is, uh, starting off with the G, um, you're going to put your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the 6th string. Alright, your index finger is going to go on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. Okay, ring finger going on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And pinky going on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. Sounds like this for the G chord. Alright, now we're going to a C at 9. All you're going to do is keep your pinky and ring finger there on the 3rd fret on the 1st and 2nd string. Uh, the only thing that's going to move is your index and middle finger. Uh, they're just going to move down a string each. Okay, so your middle finger is now on the third fret of the fifth string, and your index finger is on the second fret of the fourth string. All right, sounds like this when you play the C add nine. All right, so we have the G, C add nine. All right, now let's go to the D. You're going to keep your ring finger there on the third fret of the second string. All right, now your middle finger is going to go on the uh, second fret of the first string. And your index finger is going to go on the second fret of the third string. All right, so it sounds like this. All right, G, C add 9, D. All right, so for the C chord, what you're going to do is take your index finger and place it on the first fret of the second string. Okay, your middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the fourth string. And your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the fifth string. C sounds like this. All right, the last chord is an E minor. What that is is your index finger on the second fret of the fifth string. All right, your middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the fourth string. So the E minor sounds like this. So once again, we have the G, C add nine, the D, the C and the E minor. So all you're going to be doing for that is just strumming the G, C, D, and E minor chords. Alright, there's actually I think a guitar that does this during the song, um, but if you're just playing it by yourself, you're just a starter on the guitar, I suggest you just strum the chords, it's the easiest way to play this song. Um, so once again, it sounds like this. So what you need to know for this part is the pattern. It's down, then up, then up, down, up. All right, so it sounds like this when you play it. All right, slowly, down, up, up, down, up. Alright, so how we're going to do this, we're going to start off with the G chord, and we're going to go ahead and do the pattern twice on that. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the C chord and do the pattern once. And then the D chord, do the pattern once. Alright, so it sounds like this when you play it. Again. All right, now you're going to go 
to that E minor chord and do the pattern once. Then go to the D chord and do the pattern once. Then go to the C chord and do the pattern once. And then the G chord, do the pattern once. So that part sounds like this. Do it again. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go ahead and go to the E minor chord and do the pattern once. Then go back to the G chord, do the pattern once. Alright, then do that again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go back to the E minor chord, do the pattern once, then finish off with the D chord. So when you put everything together, it sounds like this. Alright, so this section is more for the intermediate to advanced players on guitar. Um, I suggest the beginners at least give it a shot just so, um, you know, there's no harm in trying. That's how you get better. Um, but it sounds like this when you play it. show you which of the individual strings you're going to be playing for this, I need to tell you what uh, the chord progression is that you're going to be playing. It's going to be a G, then a C add 9, then a D, alright, then you're going to do that again, G, C add 9, then a D, and it's going to be E minor, then a D, then a C, then a G. Again, E minor, D, C, and a G. Then you're going to go to an E minor, then a G, and back to the E minor, and back to the G. One more time, back to the E minor, and finish it off with the D. Start off with the G chord. Alright, we're going to play the sixth string first. Alright, then we're going up to the third string, then the second string, down to the third string, and down to the fourth string, and then back to the third string. Alright, sounds like this when you play it. When you play it full speed, it sounds like this. Alright, we're just going to do that twice. So now we're going to the C add 9 chord. Alright, we're going to go ahead and play the 5th string once. Then go to the 3rd string. Then the 2nd string. Then the 3rd string. Then the 4th string. Then back to the 3rd string. It sounds like this when you play it. One more time. Full speed. Alright, all together so far.
All right, so now we're going to the D chord. All right, we're starting off with the fourth string. Then go up to the third string. Then the second string. Then back down to the third string. Then the fourth string. Then back to the third string. It sounds like this. One more time. Full speed. Alright, so when you play it all together slowly, it sounds like this. Alright, so you're just going to do that twice. So now we're going to the E minor chord. You're going to start off with that fifth string, then go up to the third string, then the second string, then the third string, then the fourth string, then back to the third string. So it sounds like this when you play it. Alright, one more time. Alright, so now we're going back to that D chord and doing the same thing as before. We're doing the fourth string, third string, second string, third string, fourth string, and then back to the third string. That part sounds like this. So all together so far for the E minor and the D, it sounds like this. Now we're going to the C chord. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with that fifth string. Now we're going to the third string, then the second string, then the third string, and the fourth string, then back to that third string. All right, sounds like this when you play the C chord. One more time. Now we're finishing it off with the G chord. All right, we're starting off with that sixth string, and going up to the third string, and the second string, then back down to the third string, and down to the fourth string, and back up to the third string. The G sounds like this. All right, so all together that section sounds like this. So we're going to go ahead and do that section twice. Now we're going to go back to that E minor chord and uh, do the same thing as before. Fifth string, third string, second string, third string, fourth string, third string. Sounds like this. Alright, go back to that G chord, do the same thing as before. Sixth string, third string, second string, third string, fourth string, third string. Sounds like this when you play it. We're going to do this twice for that section. Alright, go back to that E minor chord and do that again. But instead of going to the G chord this time, we're going to the D chord. Alright, it's going to be the fourth string, and the third string, second string. Third string, fourth string, then finish off with the third string. 
Right, so that part sounds like this. All right, then you go back and do the whole thing over again. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you had any trouble learning the song, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. If you liked the video, go ahead and uh, please like, share with your friends, subscribe. It'll help me out and uh, help me get more lessons out to you guys. Um, also, if you have any uh, requests for any other songs you want to see, go ahead and put it down in the comments. And until next time, guys, see you later.